Hi Jerks, and welcome to our Beer Jerk Beer of the Week. I'm Matt. And I'm Luke. And uh, we're here today on a freezing cold Auckland day. Uh, there's no sunshine to be had. Rain's been pouring down, so we've got, got a nice fire going to keep us warm. Here at the and, Fridge of Blagham, warming up. Yeah, and uh, we are drinking a Bright beer from Bright uh, in rural Victoria in Australia. And it is a Mandarin milkshake ale. Yeah, Bright are in the, a town called Bright, right? Yeah, uh, and it's a little tourist town in the northeast of Victoria. Um, just a, a little uh, rural getaway. I think they've got some uh, mountains there, and um, it's kind of one of those all year round, kind of Queens County. It's got. Um, I think we've got some mountains there. Yeah, which <laughs> we definitely have some mountains there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got. Yeah, they're on the on the picture, I think. No, it's just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> got, yeah, so the kind of winter and summer uh, tourist uh, destination, and they've been putting out some cracking beers. We had an awesome beer from them in our advent calendar uh, not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, in December. Um, yeah, Bright have really impressed us um, in the last. It, it seems like in the last um, year or so that they've really just started doing a lot more outside the box beers. When I first came across Bright a couple of years ago, um, they just had a classic core range and it was just like a lovely Pilsner, lovely Stouts, but nothing um, really revolutionary and pushing boundaries. Whereas that has all changed uh, fairly recently. They, they sent a bunch of interesting samples over and, and knocked us over. So Yeah, uh, we were really impressed. Um, it was just, um, we, yeah, we got this. Uh, uh, an email um, from them saying, would you like to try some of our beers? And we said yes, and and I'm glad we did, because check out the nose on that. That is incredible. It's huge. Like, it's, it's a really, really unique beer. Yeah, so this is our first time trying this, or at least it's mine. Yeah, and mine too. That, like, that creamy mandarin <laughs> on the nose, it's kind of, almost that kind of Christmas spiced mandarin. It's like, I haven't even taken a sip yet, and it's just, that's really punchy on the, on, on the aroma. And yeah, perfect for a day like today when you want to be drinking uh, mandarins, which are of course a winter fruit. Uh, and <laughs> man, it's hot. It's so hot. <laughs> Such a stupid idea. Um, this is. <laughs> can, we, can we shift away from that fire? Why, we like, why did we light a fire? Your idea. Um, um, but yeah, this is this is really good. Beer. It's delicious. It's um, strange. It's really oh, unusual. it's hot. Yeah, yeah, but it's. Packed with mandarin flavour. It's raining ash now. <laughs> <laughs> it's packed with mandarin flavour. It's like really got that kind of, uh, as well as that kind of juice. It's got that kind of zest note to it. So it's kind of got that um, pimpy kind of citrus edge, which um, is working really well. The lactose and that creaminess definitely comes through. Um, you get that really strongly kind of, um, kind of rounding it out. It's kind of that kind of mouth coating soft sweetness that is playing beautifully with the citrus. It's. Um, Definitely one for you lactose fans. George Duncan, if you're watching, get some. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I, I know, I, I keep saying weird, but it just is. It's such a, um, just an exotic flavor experience. Yeah. It's, um, it really there's, is. There's sort of no, no hops to speak of in there. No, I mean, one thing that they, they've impressively resisted is the tendency, oh, God, the <laughs> leg hair's burning, um, is, is the um, tendency for uh, breweries to put IPA uh, on, a, on a beer like this, as we saw with our one drop beer a couple of weeks ago, but they've actually um, sensibly called it a man mandarin milkshake ale, which really kind of hits the nail on the Word head. ale is fine. Yeah. A mandarin milkshake's a thing? I've never heard of one. Oh, probably. Like, no, the, lime milkshakes are a thing in New Zealand. Why do you do lime milkshakes in New Zealand for the first time? Did, did you like it? Uh, like I pretended I, liked, I drank it with Electra Shock because oh, she yeah. was shocked that I never had a lime milkshake. And, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah lime, we, lime milkshakes only exist here and we don't know why. Okay. So, well, uh, It's got like um, yeah, a nice sort of tartness, and the tartness counters with the creamy sweetness of the beer. Yeah, they they, they balance that citrus and sweet really well, um, and yeah, uh, really interesting, full of flavour. Just um, I was expecting less from this beer to be honest. Um, I thought it would be kind of mandarin milkshakey, but more in a, in a kind of safer pale ale zone. But they've really pushed the boat out with it, so it's really exciting to see them really kind of getting those full flavours is just really at the forefront. It's like really, and it's the thing that I always say, it's like if you're going to put mandarin milkshake on the can, make it taste like a mandarin milkshake, and they have, so good on you, Bright, well done. And uh, a classic beer jug beer of the week. We like to um, push people's boundaries. We, um, it's, it's an exclusive beer. We imported it just for the beer of the week members. Um, and we, we try to push people to the edge of their comfort zones, and then we bring them back in a little bit by having something like a, 
like a red lager like we had last week or the XPA the week before and then we uh, take a chance. Um, I remember in the early days we, um, I think I scheduled in four Gozers back to back and then yeah. loads of people unsubscribe and they're like what the hell is this stupid beer? Jet subscription? Yeah, stupid that, beers. That, that stupid so, <laughs> um, so this is a bit of a stupid beer, hopefully it's not going to scare you away. Um, but if you are um, a little weirded out, um, we are back to some classics next week. Um, we have three awesome European style beers coming up, um, so keep your eye out for those. Yeah. Well, cheers, Matt. Cheers. And uh, see you next week, Jack. Enjoy. Can we get rid of this by now? I need to move. I'm going to have to stand it's in the chair. ridiculous.